right? Right. We're now in June, July area. <laughs> so it's been about six months. Are you where you want to be physically with uh, your body? And I'm where I want to be in terms of my weight. I had given myself a goal weight. I wanted to be back to my pre-pregnancy weight, which I definitely got to my pre-pregnancy weight. So shout out to my trainer for helping me achieve that goal. So now I just want to tone up. I want to be like super tight and I want abs and it just sucks because I see girls don't really have to go work out they just go get surgery and stuff and I'm over here like fuck I'm trying to do it naturally mm. shit <laughs> I see yeah no I competition see. with those girls <laughs> now my break break hey guys it's B Taylor TV and welcome to my channel today it's going to be a serious topic I was going back and forth on even speaking on this but this story is just really pulling at my heart. Miss Jackie O. Jacqueline, um, she had three kids and partner with DC Young Fly. Um, yeah, I think it's DC Young Fly. Um, he is a comedian. Um, he's on Wild and Out, on um, reoccurring, um, you know, performer on Wild and Out. And, you know, they had three children together and it was announced that she did pass away on Wednesday this week and you know I didn't really follow her at all I've ran across her photos and I, you know I always wondered like I looked at her I thought she was a really really beautiful woman and I just always when I did run across her page I always wonder why why did he not marry her you know um but now it was announced that she has passed away um, during a surgery, allegedly, um, supposedly she passed away while getting a mommy makeover. And this really touched my heart because I'm a mom myself, guys. I'm a mom myself. And I know that we live in a today's society where like mothers, mommy shaming, mothers are shamed, unwed mothers are shamed, our bodies are shamed, our stretch marks are shamed. You know, we got, we were in this whole fast snapback culture and it's the fact that she felt pressure to get this surgery done. You know, maybe she didn't feel pressure, but maybe she did. But to get it done so soon, I mean, her child wasn't even a year old. Um, giving childbirth does something so traumatic to your body, you know, and it takes a year for you to have a baby and it's going to take a year for you to heal from having that baby and we now live in a microwave society where we're not giving our bodies enough time to heal and then also the normalization of these surgeries okay it's become so normalized that people think that it's just such an in and out job when really you're actually risking your life when you go in there actually read the papers that they say that this could be de deadly it could be fatal and tummy tucks and lipo and breast augmentation all of that is at risk and it just reminded me of Kanye's mother when she passed away um getting um an enhancement surgery as well you know and it's very dangerous and I just I I know women who have had that exact surgery and were just fine but what people don't talk about are the women who don't wake up from those surgeries unless it happens to a rapper's mother or you know a comedian's girlfriend and you know the mother of his children you know it's not really blast out there until it just hits home for a lot of people but this actually happens more often than people actually talk about and this is just I hope this is an awakening call like she leaves behind three children and from what i saw in these videos she just seems like such a good mom like she literally embraced motherhood she literally looks like she enjoys motherhood she enjoys her children she enjoys spending time with her children she enjoys spending time with her daughter and building that bond with her and she has a son like she had two daughters with dc young fly and a son who is about 11 months old and this just really breaks my heart, especially as a mother, because I grew up without a mother. And so to know that she lost her life and these girls and her son have to grow up without a mother, like there is no love that can be replaced like a mother. And it just I don't know, y'all, this is just like really bothering my spirit. And I just want to say a prayer for her family. I want to say a prayer over her children that the memories that their mother has left behind 
they will cherish forever that they actually have video evidence of their mother showing them the best love that they could and that she I know spiritually she you, once you become a mom you never leave your children you never never leave your children even in the spirit world you may not be here physically but you are here spiritually in the spiritual world like I could not even think and imagine that it I could leave this space in this place without watching over my children my spirit my love is so strong for my children so I just know that she's going to be looking over her daughters right now and I really hope that her family um you know works with DC Young Fly and because this they got to come together because they weren't married there's a lot of things that's being left behind um you know like a will or where her money and business is going and what 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 savings and um you know insurance um, life insurance and like you know ideally people think that it's supposed to go straight to the daughters but and I'm pretty sure she had something or hopefully she does but I've seen situations where, you know, family can get, you know, petty. And I'm not saying this about her family. I'm just hoping and praying that they can come together and it can be peaceful and they can work out things the best that they can work out for their children that they have. And the family could just come together. And I just pray over that. That's just a peaceful situation and that they come together and love on each other in this time and moment. Guys, do not feel pressured to get back out there. This is just a telltale sign to just really focus on yourself because I'm not going to lie. I was guilty of wanting to get a mommy makeover. I was guilty of it. I was guilty of wanting to get my breasts done. And I was around people that would, you know, who had their breasts done and they're like, you should get yours done. It's a must. You must get this done. You have to get this done. Why would you not get this done? It's becoming a point where like, you know, so everybody got their body done where it's so normalized. It's so normalized. And no one speaks about the dangers of not waking up from those type of surgeries. And this was just confirmation for me to just continue to work out, continue to eat better, continue to take care of myself. And you know what? This is a warrior body. OK, this body has birthed out two children. Therefore, I'm going to I'm going to embrace that Um and, and not put so much focus on vanity and just more so focus on my mental space, my my mental growth, my spiritual growth and my growth in relationship with my children, because those are the most important things to me. And this is just this is just confirmation that before you guys go and get this surgery done or anything serious, just know that there is a risk that you will not wake up and it's not as glamorized and easy as everyone think it is. All right, guys, sending prayers and love to Miss Jack, Jackie O, Jacqueline family and um, sending prayers to DC Young Fly and especially, especially sending prayers to those precious, beautiful babies that they have together. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.